Good morning, everyone. It's our last full day in Arizona, and we're out here with Rob. He's going to try to help us find some Arizona black rattlesnakes. So hopefully today will go better than yesterday. hot again and there's no snakes. This does not look like rattlesnake habitat to me. But sure enough, they're here. We're, we're up here looking at birds with Tim here. We found out he was up the mountain. We start driving away from talking to Tim and this guy right here looks out the window. There's a freaking beautiful Arizona black rattlesnake sitting right there. Oh my god. That thing's phenomenal. Dude, that is such an incredible snake. My phone is shaking because my hand's shaking and this video is gonna suck, but look at that. We're up here. They, I mean, these are all, we're at eight and a half thousand feet right now. This is nuts. That is an incredible snake. We're just gonna leave this beauty right here and continue on with our day. It's crazy that there's black rattlesnakes up here in this habitat. Absolutely awesome. There's also pyros up here apparently, so I guess we're gonna try to find one of those now. I found the ladybugs. You said this is a southern plateau lizard? Southern plateau. Yeah. Pretty cool. First of A lifer. <laughs> What's up guys? It is the last night that we have here in southern Arizona for this trip. We're sunburnt, we're tired, we're exhausted, we're sick of road cruising and not finding anything, but we're going at it one more time before we head home. And uh, targets tonight, coral snake, green rat snake, uh, those are the two big ones I think, but Gila monster, we'd just be happy to see some animals on the road tonight uh, for once. It's been a really awful trip when it comes to road cruising. All around it's been fantastic, but the road cruising has been dismal. So hopefully we can find a thing or two tonight. I'll keep you guys updated. All right, guys, here's our first snake of the night. Had a little bit of a cactus slash bite incident trying to get this guy out of this tree, but this is a huge red racer. I believe this is the same species that we found sleeping in the tree, the juvenile, but wow, that is an impressive snake. This guy was hauling off the road when we first spotted him. He went up in one of these thorny, hostile trees and I had to sacrifice a little bit of blood to get to him, but that is a beautiful snake. Absolutely stunning. Go, Alright guys, here's one more look at this beautiful red racer before we let him go. Really nice pink coloration on this guy. I'd guess this is probably actually an integrate between a coach whip and a red racer. Yeah. Because I mean, it looks, it's definitely got the darker head there and some weird banding going on. Definitely different from what we see in West Texas to a degree. But I'm not sure this is a pure red racer. Anyways, we're gonna let this guy go and keep herping. All right, buddy. Nope. There you go. All right, let's see what else we can find. Our next snake of the night. No, I, I like a black tail rattlesnake. This guy's colors are not coming through very well in the video. Oh, that's a crazy looking snake. Anyways, let's see what else we can find. It's a patch nose. Nice, dude. That's a desert ticola. Desert what? Alright, guys, here's another look at our next snake of the night. This is a mountain or desert patch nose. I'm not sure which one's here. I think this is <laughs> Salvadora <laughs> desert ticola. <laughs> Stop biting me. God, dude, this thing's angry. Anyways, that's pretty cool. Ow! God, dude, this thing does not like me. <laughs> this is a desert tickler, right? I don't know. Either way, this is not Grammy. This is the other. It's one of the hexagons. Brother! 
Yeah, it's a Hexalopis complex patch nose. I think this is the Big Ben patch nose that we have in West Texas. Should be the same species, but pretty cool neck snake of the night. We're gonna keep cruising, see what else we can find. Ah! God, dude. All right, guys, here's a better lit look at this patch nose snake. The lighting was dimming when we first found him and I filmed him, but we're getting a couple photos of him now before we let him go. Pretty good looking snake. Pretty sure this is Salvadora Hexalepis deserticola, uh, which would be the Big Ben patch nose snake, but I'll have to look it up and make sure, but we're gonna let this guy go and keep cruising. All right, guys, here's our next snake of the night that we thought was a green rat snake and is quite clearly not once we're out of the car, but that's a big gopher snake. Check that out. That's gotta be a four footer, if not more, four and a half feet. Good sized gopher snake just hanging out right here in the road. He does, he's different looking. Anyways, we're gonna get this guy out of the road and keep cruising. Alrighty. Oh! Which way was going? He's going that way. Off you go. I didn't know gopher snakes were cliff snakes, but that's where he was headed, so. Anyways, on to the next one, hopefully. All right, guys, cruising has slowed down, so we're doing a little wash walking. And here's a, uh, I'm gonna flip this turd real quick. Nice looking centipede. Hanging out under this cow poop. Anyways. All right, guys, our next snake of the night. We're on the way back to the hotel because we haven't been seeing anything. And here's a little Atrox sitting in the road. Our first Atrox in the state of Arizona interestingly enough. Anyways, we're gonna get this little nugget out of the road and keep cruising. Hopefully we'll see something else. What is up guys? If you can't tell, I am back in Georgia and I'm editing my videos as we speak. I did a lot of editing in the car on the way home while my dad drove, but um, I pretty much have all the Arizona videos edited now and this is going to be the last installment. So I hope you guys enjoyed. The Arizona Black Rattlesnake was an excellent way to end the trip in my opinion and I cannot wait to come back. So stay tuned for Georgia videos coming at you soon.